Hello, my name is Marie Lee, and I am the Director of Meetings for the PMI Great Lakes Chapter. Joining me today is the keynote speaker for our upcoming Spring Symposium, Neil Magsomble. We are extremely excited to have Neil present at our event that focuses on challenge, change, and managing risk in uncertain times as he is a John Maxwell Certified Leadership training, Trainer and has helped several Fortune 100 companies undergo major digital and business agility transformations. Thank you for being here today to chat with me today, Neil. Marie, it is an honor. I am so excited to be with you guys again. Uh, we had a wonderful time last year in our workshop and, and really looking forward to being in person. Yes, it's so exciting a big real in-person event so yes very yeah. excited about that too yeah hey, I, be the, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I, I was going to say this is going to be the first time in two years i've boarded a plane for a business trip oh my gosh wow <laughs> two years that's mm -hmm. amazing yeah and and we'll get out of this uh this zoom thing where we we talk over each other <laughs> It'll be, a, it'll be a real in-person live kind of thing. That's that's pretty exciting. So I really want to ask you about uh, John Maxwell leadership. I don't know what that is, and uh, I'm interested to hear a little bit about that. Well, great. Um, so Marie, basically what it amounts to is that John Maxwell is considered one of the, if not the top leadership expert. Um, he's written over 100 books um, on leadership. Uh, he's been around for over 40 years. If you type in John Maxwell leadership, you will see a slew of things come up. And with him being the number one leadership expert, uh, the John Maxwell team is actually a group of, I want to say close to 35 to 40,000 leadership trainers, coaches, et cetera. It's, it is the largest uh, leadership coaching organization in the world. Wow. That's really exciting and interesting. And what I'm guessing is that you've gotten a lot out of that in terms of putting into uh, some of the things that you're going to share with us. So tell me a little bit about the title of your keynote, which is Leader Shift. I want to get that Leader pronunciation. Shift. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you absolutely got that. You nailed it. Uh, basically, what it amounts to is this. Before I, I talk about the topic, I want to talk about uh, a couple of key fundamental principles that I think will help lead us to the topic. So number one, uh, John Maxwell defines leadership as leadership is influence, nothing more, nothing less. It's not about a title where you sit on the org chart or what have you, which I'm very grateful for because uh, I've been in companies where I was so far down on the org chart, my neck hurt looking up at everybody. Um, so leadership is all about being a, a person of influence. And then uh, the second thing he talks about is is he talks about the law of the lid, meaning that your leadership level is really capped at your lid of uh, your leadership skill, character, et cetera. Uh, a lot of people think that's fixed, that you either have it or you don't. However, we believe that you can really up level and you could take that lid even higher. Um, and then, you know, I talked about that in the workshop I was here uh, last year. I think it was last year, yes. Um, and that's really a fundamental principle is that number one, leadership is influence. And then number two, you could raise your lid and you could really up level yourself to, to create uh, leadership skills within you, regardless of your title. Yeah, that's really important for people to understand, especially that influence piece. I think a lot of people don't feel necessarily empowered to, to make changes or to actually do something for the benefit of, again, whatever organization they happen to be in. And so that's a very important concept. So thinking about that and, and some of the things that you'll share with us, what are some key points that you're really hoping the attendees will take away from your keynote? Well, um, with that said, uh, you know, obviously things have changed, right? In the last two years, we've seen more change in the world than we probably ever have in a two-year period, right? Um, things have absolutely changed. I mean, if you look at statistics, the Harvard Business Review published an article a few years ago that said 52% of the companies that were in the Fortune 500 in 2001 have either gone bankrupt, been acquired, or now completely irrelevant. So uh, things are completely changing. Things are completely shifting. And so when we're talking about a leader shift, we're talking about doing things to help us shift our leadership, help us shift our level of leadership. And for project managers, I think it's absolutely fundamental that we understand this because, you know, as we work in project management, oftentimes the people don't report to us, right? Right. <laughs> um, and so we're not their boss, 
quote unquote. So we have to absolutely have this ability to influence them uh, to be able to, uh, you know, accomplish whatever it is that we're asking them to accomplish. And, and um, basically this topic has three different, oh, I'm sorry, 11 different leader shifts. Now we won't be able to cover all of them, uh, however, we're going to cover in the first part, uh, in the first keynote, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about three fundamental leaderships. We're going to talk about why we need to leadership. We're going to talk about the personal development shift, all right? We're going to talk about the personal development shift, why we have to really, really make sure that we are personally developing ourselves. It's a must nowadays because if you don't, other people will, right? And you right. won't be able to progress in your career. The second thing is we're going to talk about the focus shift, the focus shift. We're going to shift our focus um, from being a soloist to being a conductor, right? So in other words, instead of just, and, and again, I know in most HR, um, uh, you know, classifications of job roles, you're either an individual contributor or a leader, right? Well, regardless, if you are under one of those classifications, we want to be able to change our focus so that you can lead effectively whether or not you have people underneath you in an org chart. So those are going to be the three things that we talk about in the beginning. Um, the need for leadership, we're going to talk about the personal development shift, and then we'll talk about the focus shift. Great. Then in the evening keynote, um, after all those incredible breakouts that I know you guys are going to have, I think it's going to be a phenomenal time. Can't wait. Get your PDUs, right? This That's is right. a great way to get PDUs. Uh, we're going to talk about the communication shift, right? Normally, um, traditional uh, traditional view of project manager is being somebody like a foreman, kind of telling everybody what to do. We want to change our communication shift. So instead of telling people what to do, we're actually, again, really maximizing our influence. Then what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the impact shift. How can we make an impact? And uh, whether you're doing waterfall, agile, lean, what, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, we want you to have an impact. So how can we do that? And then we're going to talk about the passion shift, the passion shift, how we can just go from having a job, just going from having a career to really finding a calling. You say, well, project management is a calling? Well, for me, it's not um, the job title. It's really about being able to be that influence and in helping people and guiding people towards a certain goal. That's a calling. And then we're going to talk about, uh, uh, we're going to do an assessment of you, these leaderships. And we're going to see where you are. And we're going to create a customized plan for you to be able to engage these leaderships so that you can go out and you can be an impact. You can make an impact wherever you are. Fantastic. I'm very excited. Uh, and obviously, from a professional development standpoint, the symposium uh, provides a great opportunity for that as well. So it sounds like the, the keynote will, will bookend a day of learning very, very nicely. Um, again, back to the, it'll be very interesting to be back in person. I think if anything, the, the pandemic over the last couple of years have, has forced us all to shift in how we communicate and how we interact. So I think it will be nice to reconnect with folks in person, but also just Absolutely. to kind of wrap our heads around that whole, that whole concept of what do we need to do to really build that influence and, and move to the next level in our career. So I'm Really, really getting excited about uh, what we're going to look at and learn in the symposium next month. I am so excited too. I am so excited to be able to meet people, shake people's hands. I'll have, I'll make sure I have my sanitizer. And, <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> and, right. We'll uh, wash our hands a lot. To, <laughs> exactly. Look at people's faces and really just interact and really get that uh, connection with people. You know, um, I did a workshop last year and I mean, uh, I got to say the, the Great Lakes chapter, some incredibly passionate learners. I mean, they literally just pulled uh pulled it, uh, you know, it was so engaging, even when it was on Zoom. I can't imagine what it's going to be like in person. I can't wait. Right. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate your time. And I, I again, look forward to meeting you in person and to networking Likewise. with a lot of other people at our spring symposium on April 22nd. So thank you again. Look forward to it. Thank you, Marie.